understanding underhanded navigating the nuances in english hello everyone and welcome to our english language learning series today we're diving into a fascinating phrase that often pops up in english conversations be underhanded this phrase can be a bit tricky to understand so we'll explore its meaning usage and some examples to help you master it let's get started be underhanded refers to behaving in a secretive or dishonest manner it often implies using unfair or deceptive methods to achieve a goal this term can be used in various contexts from personal relationships to business dealings The key characteristic of being underhanded is the lack of transparency and honesty in one's actions. The term underhanded has its origins in the early 19th century, deriving from the notion of doing something underhand or out of sight, suggesting deceitfulness. Synonyms for underhanded include sneaky, deceitful, dishonest, and surreptitious. Understanding these synonyms can help you recognize the concept in different contexts. To understand be underhanded better, let's look at some examples. 1. The politician was accused of underhanded tactics during the campaign. 2. She felt that her colleagues' underhanded comments during the meeting were uncalled for. 3. Using underhanded methods to win the competition was frowned upon by everyone. In these examples, underhanded is used to describe actions that are deceitful or unfair. It's important to know when and how to use be underhanded appropriately. In formal writing, it's used to describe an ethical behavior in a professional or public context. In casual conversation, It can be used to describe sneaky or sly behavior in everyday situations. Understanding the context will help you use this phrase effectively and appropriately. And that's a wrap on be underhanded. We hope this video has shed light on this intriguing phrase and helped you understand how to use it in your English conversations. Remember, language learning is a journey, so keep practicing and exploring. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.